Hey guys, welcome back to my forever home Minecraft chill out, take my time series. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. You seem to do so. Thank you very, very much. Huge thanks for all the likes and comments, etc. Now, when we first spawned into this land in, I called it Mesa. Mesa, Badlands, Badlands, Mesa. Same kind of thing to me with a fibro brain, but there you go. And I thought it was a very, very lucky spawn. However, I've been out in a boat along these waterways that you can see around here. It's an even luckier spawn than I thought. And here's why. We have jungle, we have dark oak, we've got all those deep crevices and fissures and caves and holes and everything to explore. This is just such an awesome seed, guys. Absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to start get building on this because I'm just going to, oh, I can't, there's no words. I'm just so excited to build with it. Okie dokie. So you see, I haven't done much, but as you can see here, I have been raided twice. By blooming pillagers. And there are some ominous bottles right there. Oh my goodness me. And there you go. There is the <laughs> achievements. A seedy place. Acquire hardware. Monster hunter. And voluntary exile. Yep. Blooming pillagers of all things. Little monkeys. Uh, over here as you can see I'm just making some mud. Uh, I've got two boats. I've got one with a chest and one plain ones. Now down that area is just a dead end of water. But that is all like the badlands where we can get all the terracotta. Over that away, however, the water expands right out. And we found jungle and also a dark or a dark oak and for a mushroomy forest. Over here, I've just got a little bit of wheat growing, some sugar cane. And down here is a, just a small bamboo farm. Uh, I'm not going to use a lot of bamboo, I don't think. I don't really like the textures of bamboo in vanilla Minecraft. And I don't like the textures of bamboo in this texture pack. However, over here I've started to collect a look at all the blocks we have gathered so far. The wool textures in this texture pack are absolutely amazing. And I love these colours here. As you can see here, we've got the bamboo and the bamboo trapdoor. This is the plain birch stripped and birch. Shall we wait till the morning to do this? Because it's uh, a little bit dark and we're not getting the full textures, are we? I think that's what we'll do. That's better. Brand new day. Some really nice light on this shader. Let's go back to our blocks. Okay, where was it? Oh, yeah. Birch. <laughs> trapdoor. Normal birch stripped and the birch planks. Now acacia. I love the way that the acacia trap door. You can see the um behind it. Lovely gaps in there. And that's the stripped acacia. Acacia planks and the jungle. There. I love the way the jungle texture on here is look. It looks like it aged on there. It looks brilliant. This is the dark oak. Looking nice. The normal oak. Now, this is all the terracotta that I managed to gather so far um, from down that area there. And on top is the glazed terracotta. Now, you get that if you don't know by putting terracotta into a furnace. 
this is the normal terracotta it doesn't have um a glazed but this one look at this this is the orange terracotta now that reminds me of a clownfish and it's absolutely beautiful and you've got the red the brown the light gray and the white and the glazed variants and you can see already just by looking here how that how the browns and the oranges are all going to ma uh, match not max match beautifully when we start building this of course is the cobblestone stone brick the stone and the chiseled we've got clay and brick uh, the dark mud the packed mud and the mud bricks that is what we found so far now you let me know in the comments what you think of this texture pack because i think it's absolutely beautiful now talking about building in minecraft a lot of lots of builders out there build in the cottage core style i think that's is that the right word for it cottage core where they do some amazing builds and they use all different things like buttons and fences and all different things and it looks absolutely brilliant and they make the paths look aged and old and eroded as well as their walls and buildings as well now i adore that kind of building but it's not my building style guys so if you come here looking for a cottage core kind of style you build, that's not my style. I'm more into your straight lines, clean lines, contemporary, smart, but I do like a lot of foliage. Not so many flowers, but I do like foliage and I do like lighting. So that's how I'm going to be building and I will be using these really bright colours as well. What I'll also be doing is building specific buildings for the villagers, i.e., you know, we're going to have um, the arches, not the arches, the, what do you call them? <laughs> not arches. Oh, come on, fibro brain. Fletchers. There we go. There'll be a specific building for Fletchers, one for cooks, one for blacksmiths, etc., etc. And they'll all be built in those blocks. And I will not be putting the villagers in there until I've, you know, built the specific housing for them the first thing i'm going to be building is a boathouse that's coming out into the water here um just big enough to hold my two boats with some barrel storage etc and then my house is going to be on different levels so we're going to have like a basement uh under here and then we're going to go up a level a couple of levels maybe two or three maybe two i don't know but it's going to be staggered into different levels and it's going to have entrances at each level which is hopefully going to look kind of cool we shall see on that i'm thinking i want to do the boathouse in the lovely browns the dark browns and then mix and match the house with some brick and different terracottas in it as well hopefully it's going to look good it should do <laughs> Again, it's not probably not going to be your style of things if you're into the cottage car, but that is my plan. But first of all, we're going to go back over there and explore the jungle a little bit more after we get some iron. Because so I want to make some shears and get some vines and so get some moss and stuff and things. And hopefully we might be able to find some, um, whatchamacallit, my fibro brain today, guys, is terrible. Mossy mossy stuff we need some mossy stuff as well before we head over to the jungle uh now we've got the shears i just had enough iron to make one lot of shears oh wrong one <laughs> there is a brown sheep up here and we need to keep him alive so at some point i'm going to build a little enclosure and tame him you see he's got the lovely brown wool and the black one i don't see him anymore but we can always get the white wool and then dye it afterwards but yeah quite a lot of different colored sheep around here i've not seen the bright colors but the brown black and gray is definitely around this area i think there might be the other side but that is going to be like a daily stop oh look i've left one over here what a noob i've spotted the gray sheep he's got all the way over here little monkey and as we're looking up there look at that lovely formation up there there's like a big crater in the side of that mountain as well Oh shoot, I only fell down there. I don't think there's any more sheep on this bit. We'll have a cool little look, a little look. Not seeing any, but there's our beautiful jungle over there, guys. And literally, our home is just round that bend. 
So close, it's unbelievable. Right, let's go to the jungle. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong bloody way. What a noob. Okay, we're just going to park up here and grab our boat. Make sure we've got the bloody boat this time. Yes, we do. We're right there. Put that on our hot bar so we can see it. So, as you can see, it's not a very thick jungle um, at all. But it's quite handy. Okay, get some vines. We don't need many because it will grow. It does get thicker the further you go in, but there's a massive crevice here. I do not want to get tangled up in right now. Oh, it's some cold though. Only a couple of bits. Only a couple of bits. We have brought our bed so we can have a sleep if we need to. I just want to go for a big explore. See how dense and how thick this jungle does get. Oh, I've seen some uh, cocoa pods. Let's get a few more of these. Like I said in the beginning of the video that when I'm decorating, I do like a lot of foliage. And these, apart from making nice cocoa and chocolate, um, very good for decoration as well. Yeah, it gets kind of denser over there, doesn't it? Gotta have a nosy. The more sheep, I don't see any more colours than white. I might as well grab the wool while we're here. Oh, it's a black one. Awesome. Snippy snips. Hello. So it looks like over that side is where the jungle gets thicker and thicker. Awesome sauce. Let's go for a quick swim. And down that area is where the uh, dark oak is, I believe. That sun is starting to uh, set, isn't it? Might be an idea just to stay here and uh, get our bed out for the evening. Nearly ready. Nearly ready. And there we go. Morning has a broken. I do have some spare tools with me. Oh, I've got jungle leaves. <laughs> I just want to get in here though. I love exploring in this game because you just never know what you're going to get. What's that down there? Ah, oh, there is one. There's a temple. I don't want to go too near it though. But yeah, we do have one. I shall... Uh, Grab the cords in a minute. Yeah, there's the dark oak up there, look. Hop, skip and a jump. Beautiful water around here. Is it a proper temple or is it not? I don't think it is. Might just be the cobble. Oh, me thinks. uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> i don't think we're equipped to go too much further in there um at all 
We're still on stone tools, dudes. But yeah, that's going to go down there, isn't it? Lovely. So we have found one, and uh, for those who wish to know, I'll give you the seed on screen as well. But the coordinates of this... Very, very interesting seed is this. One of the best ones I've ever spawned in. There you go. Oh my goodness, a bloody creeper's come out of it. <laughs> I was going to go up there and sneak a little bit of uh, mossy cobble. Where's he gone? Because it started raining. Really heavy. There he is, look. Little monkey. Bugger off. Oh, shoot. If you get in the water, though, they go really, really slow. Come on, then. Come on, then. Thank you. Yeah, we've got to be careful because it's bloody raining. I'm going to get out of here. And, uh... Oh, there's an ocelot. Oh, little ocelot. We must, must, must try and find some villages at some point and see if we can't get Bennett and Barkley, our two orange kitty cats. You're going to clear up a little bit? Is it hair? But yeah, we have found a jungle temple with some cobble and somewhere cool to explore when we get all our iron gear. Brilliant. Like, oh my gosh. You see that? I thought, oh, one skeleton. We might be able to cope with one skeleton, but there's more than bloody one. Oh, there was. There's two or three down there, the little buggers. Come on, sunshine, and burn these little monsters up for me. We do with the bones, though, in case you see a doggy. I can't take them on because they're just going to kill me straight off. Is it one disappeared already? Let's try and get around the back of them. Little monkeys. I think there's just one left. You little shit. Ha-ha! Gotcha, sir. We've got both. So our last piece of uh, bread, but we've got loads and loads of food. Lots and lots of food. I'm going to put some earth across here to make a little bridge. There we go. It's time to go over here with our shears and uh, get the sheep is. I do believe the black one's over here now. Yeah, there he is. He disappeared for a while. But now he's back. Did I not pick it up? Noob. Right, here we go. Ah, uh, these are about three or four white ones to grab. Look nice horses around here as well. And some more pumpkins. At some point, um, I will be building uh, a sheep ranch part of my base. And in that sheep ranch, I'm aiming to have every single colour of wool on the sheep. So that's one thing we'll look forward to building. Oh, awesome. Our dark oaks has uh, grown up very, very quickly. Brilliant. I'm going to get chopping all of these and then I'll be able to make a start on our boathouse. Okay, I've made a very, very temporary pen for sheep. And I just want to get the brown one and the black one and the grey one. So I'm just going to put this boat down. Oh, we've got him straight away. Nice one. Uh, I'm just going to paddle him back <laughs> over there. Then we'll go get the black one and the grey one. Come on, dude. Got some nice wheat for you. Yeah, come and look, see what I've got. Nom noms. Come on, my little brown one. I don't see many brown sheep in Minecraft. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments if you see many. Come on. Get you in here. 
There's a good sheepy. Oh, there's one. Now on to the next. Hey, dude, look. Yes, nice. I need to get in the boat. Let me in the boat. There we go. This reminds me of when I first started playing Minecraft years ago. Um, I didn't play it for a good few years, but when I first started playing, I played with Max, Max Fox, and we had boat races around our island. <laughs> and he, he cheated. He cheated. And then he put an Enderman in a boat, if I remember rightly, or an Enderman got in a boat. I'll have to see if I can dig out those clips. Hey, let me let me just go this way. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, Ben. It is perfectly legitimate to row a boat on wood. Shut up. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make another boat for you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Right, let's set this up a boat race. He's like, he's, he's just like looking at me. He's like, he's, he's like, I will so kill you he's when like, you can't get out of the boat. Yeah. I will kill you as soon as I figure out how to remove my legs from this goddamn wooden contraption. Come back here. <laughs> oh my god, somebody clip that. That's hilarious. Um, okay. See I where know, this the game's gone now. There we go. Okay, I okay. So the uh, the start line is where this torch is at. So if you come if you come over here. Right, that's it. Right. <laughs> that's it. Line it with me. Right. Ready? So we're going to go just round the very edge, okay? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Ooh! Come on, Fady! <laughs> we're colliding. We're going to get stuck. <laughs> ah! He cut me off in the corner. Right. I'm going down the inside. <laughs> you're not going down the inside. Oh, I, I see what you're doing. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not cutting me off on the inside. No. Hey! hey no! Hey! Cheat! Hey. No. <laughs> I'm not cheating. Right, I'm just, I'm just gonna. Ah! I fell out! <laughs> you fell out! I got stuck in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I'm gonna win! Oh, you not. <laughs> Hello? Come on, Mr. Sheepies. You can do it. Actually, I'm just gonna grab my book because I left it last time. Come on, then. We've got a nice home for you. Yes, we have. Might have to wait another day to go and get the great one. We've got the brown and the black. Come on, dude. Let's get in. Hey, sheep. No, come back. Oh, my God. Come on, boys and girls. And whatever you identify as. Nice. Can you breed together? What happens if you two breed? What do we get? You're the black one. Awesome. Right. Next stop, Mr. Grey Sheep, I believe, was right over there. I couldn't find Mr. Grey Sheep anywhere, so I came over to this little bit of a plains uh, biome. It's not very big. Our house is over that way. And, uh, yeah. This is where we're getting raided, I believe. And I haven't seen any sheep on here anywhere. There's, there's loads of cows. Loads of cows. More cows over that way. But I haven't seen any sheepers and I can't find my grey sheep. So I've been collecting some white flowers and some other colour flowers so eventually we can make the dyes. I thought I'd grab them while we're out here. Yellows and blues can make an orange. You need cactus to make a green one, I believe, if I'm right. You got any sheep? I'm getting a bit too close to there, though. I don't really want to. Ah, oh, look, there's some sheep down there. I don't want to get too close to that, but is there any different coloured sheep? Is there's another. Whoa, there's another black one. There's another brown one which we have. I don't see a grey one. There's some chickens. Hmm. So I don't know where he's gone, our grey sheep. I think I found him. 
sneaking up there. Little monkey. I've been all around everywhere looking for you, sir. You must have gone into like a hole or a cave or you were hiding behind a tree when I went past you, but you're very naughty. Come on, got a new forever home for you. You're coming home with me. Dude. I'll put the boat down. I've got some Wheaties. Oh, look. Can you come down? Yeah, get in the boat. Nice one. Now I've got to get in the damn thing. There we go. And we're back. Right. Right, mister. Come on. This way, dude. Look at me. There we go. Come on, then. You can go and live with the other sheep around the corner. Come on. Up. Awesome. That's going to save me a lot of time. I so say it's just a temporary pen. You come in. You come in. Move, guys. Let our job in. Let's see what colours we can get. Did I feed you? Oh, I can't get out. I can't get past them. Move, you little buggers. There. At last. We have our sheepies. Nice. They're a cute little black one. Okie dokie. I just about scraped enough iron by going round bits and places to make four lanterns. Just to finish off our boathouse. And here it is in the evening. Because it looks beautiful. I've used dark oak and acacia. And we'll have a look at night time. And then we'll have a look at daytime as well. But I think the colours just complement each other. And with that lantern light just glowing on that acacia, it looks absolutely awesome. It is functional. You can lift these off, put them down to get your boat out. And we have them either side. So you can go that way or that way. And it's got six storage barrels in. Currently, it's containing all my different woods. The dark oak, the oak, the birch, the bamboo, etc. And up top, instead of a ceiling, we've got, again, the acacia trapdoors. Uh, on the roof, I don't know if you can see from here. Don't really want to go too far. Tell you what, let's have a little look at it in the night time and then we'll swap today. I think it looks really nice. This is what I mean about my style of building, guys. It's clean edged and uh, foliage. That is what I mean. Right, let's have a sleep. And uh, we'll have a look in daytime. Okie dokie, beautiful daylight. And in the daytime, it looks just as good. Um, I don't cheat when I'm putting pillars down. I go right to the very, very bottom, as you will see right here. The bottom block of my pillars is cobblestone. And then it's stripped dark oak. So it gives it a kind of a, a waterlogged look. Uh, around here, you can see there's upside down stairs and dark oak trapdoors. But down here, you can probably get a better look. It's cobblestone and stripped dark oak under the water. And over here, we've got dark oak lining and also some dark oak trapdoors lining that little bit there. And also just around here. I've got to finish it off yet. And then we're going to put some kind of fencing around here. We've got a little bit of dark oak showing there. And again, the trapdoors there. But this is the boathouse. And I think, well, personally, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. We're just going to go into spectator mode and have a look at the top. I've decorated the outer lip with buttons. It just gives it... Um, it's not inspired by Japanese at all, but I do think it looks kind of a little bit Japanesey, maybe. And you come in this way. Like that. So tell me what you think, guys. Do you like my style of building or do you think it's a lot of pants? <laughs> be nice. Be nice. <laughs> so, yeah, we have storage for our um, different kind of woods. Some, some little fishies there. What does happen with these trapdoors, guys, is we keep catching um, the squid. 
the squid keep getting trapped on it which is kind of awesome but there we go so with that said guys i think we are going to wrap up today's episode i hope you've enjoyed it i am taking my time with it i'm decorating it as best to, well to my what i like um as again let me know in the comments whether you like my style or not give me some tips tricks and ideas on building because i haven't done a great lot of it but i do enjoy a bit of smart building <laughs> So thanks ever so much again guys for watching please drop me a like if you, if you have enjoyed today's video also subscribe if you wish to if you enjoy this kind of content i haven't forgotten about conan i am currently working on um, a different conan series that will be coming out just before christmas but until then we've got our minecraft going on and minecraft will continue also into the new year so guys you take care now and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye bye for now